Hello guys, in this video I want to show you a few new features in Laravel Boost they have released over the last month or so. And by the way, if you haven't tried Laravel Boost, I have two videos on my channel two months ago, first attempt showing Boost in action and then one more feature how to add custom AI rules. So I will link both of those in the description below. But now let's go through releases, they released quite a few versions in recent month or so and I will highlight a few more important features. First relatively new feature was released on September 30th in version 1.3.1 of Laravel Boost and this is Boost Update. So if we take a look at readme change of that specific pull request, for keeping guidelines up to date you may want to run Boost Update which will get the latest versions of Laravel ecosystem packages and also as I understand it would recollect all your custom guidelines you added in .ai folder. And speaking of custom guidelines, within the same release 1.3.1 another important feature is allowing package authors to publish guidelines. So if you are a Laravel package creator and you want Boost to recognize your guidelines, there are official instructions now. So you need to add resources Boost guidelines core blade file to your package and here's the example on the screen. Just use markdown inside. The next new feature is they added open code support. So when it was released Laravel Boost supported cursor, cloud code, VS code and PHP storm, later they added codex as well and now open code and this thing was submitted very long time ago in August but actually was released only in recent version 1.7. So now if you run PHP Artisan Boost install it will offer the choice of editors and open code will be one of them. So you may choose to enable or disable open code and also Laravel Boost will generate the guidelines suitable for open code. This is the contribution by Caleb White, so thank you Caleb for that. Next new kind of related feature which was released earlier in 1.4, so in September, support for basically any code environment if you want to add it manually. So there's a thing called code environment which you may extend and then register and then use something like probably Kilo Code or Factory Droid or whatever other IDE or agent. I haven't tried it myself but now it is possible since like last days of September. If you have tried it let me know in the comments which editor you use outside of the official list of Boost. Next new feature kind of a small change but quality of life change for custom guidelines. By default the custom guidelines feature was released with blade in mind so you have to prepare blade files not anymore. You can do markdown. So this is the contribution by Austin here so Austin thank you for that and in files changed we may see that now in your .ai guidelines you may use not only .blade.php you can just do markdown. And finally in the latest release at least at the time of shooting this video 1.7.1 they updated a few guidelines. So they updated Tailwind 4 guidelines and also added a new ecosystem tool guidelines which is Wayfinder. And this is I think pretty important with AI to update the guidelines pretty regularly. So for example when Livewire 4 is released out of beta probably it should be here in the guidelines as well and so on. In general one of the purpose of Laravel Boost is to help you get the latest guidelines on Laravel ecosystem packages including Laravel itself. So I think Ashley and the expanded team now with Pushback and Nuno Maduro also joined them. They are all doing great job and I see on Twitter they are experimenting with more things around AI so I will follow them closely and shoot the updates here on YouTube. So yeah, all those new features of Laravel Boost, but interestingly, kind of funny enough in the Laravel Boost docs introduction, this thing is still here. So with all those versions and all the new things, technically Laravel Boost is still in beta version. In my personal opinion, they should drop that because with AI, there will never be a stable enough version like stable for upcoming months or so. There will be always new editors, new models, new guidelines, new workflows with AI but still even with better version Laravel Boost is awesome package already. I use it a lot in pretty much every project. So yeah what do you think about those new features and about Laravel Boost in general? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. And also if you're interested in AI in general with Laravel I have three courses 
kind of outdated in a way, but I will get to that in a minute. Cursor, Cloud Code, and PHP Storm Junior. I've reviewed them all in summer. And currently, I started working on a new course combining all of the IDEs I've worked with, now including Codex, VS Code with Copilot, and stuff like that. So soon, I hope to release a new course on Laravel Daily, kind of overview of the state of Laravel with AI in November 2025. And that course will be available for premium members of Laravel Daily. This is another reason to subscribe for the membership. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.